Alright guys, so today we are going to have ourselves a little bit of a switch up. We usually don't cover basketball shoes here on the channel, but we have done a very select few, and they are usually Kobe Bryant shoes, and today is no exception. In hand, we got the Kobe 4 Pro Pro Gift of Mamba, and we are going to go over the shoe, all the details about it, and talk a little bit about the state of the basketball shoe marketplace. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, these dropped on December 27th for a retail price of $180. And as usual, they were nearly impossible to get reselling for around $300 which actually isn't that much for a Kobe. The reverse Grinches that came out two weeks before that were reselling for around 500. So yeah, these weren't the worst in terms of how high they were off the bat. And I did pay resale for these as a gift for my little brother. He's a baller. Uh, these are really more of a balling shoe. I would say even more so than the Grinches and the Reverse Grinches, which do have some sort of street credit aspect to them. These are just a black Kobe, so I don't really see the point of wearing them casually. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into the box. The Kobe boxes have all been just about the same recently. So on top, we got the Kobe Mambo logo, and it's just an all black snakeskin carbon box. Here's the size tag right here. These are from StockX, so do with that what you will. It's a very sturdy box, and it doesn't feel like it's going to bend easily or anything like that. Um, but there is not much to talk about. There's also a Kobe signature on top. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into the shoe itself. So, on the lateral side, we got an all-black upper with different materials. The toe guard is a bit of a snake skin kind of feeling material. Um, and then on the toe box area, we got like a suede uh, overlay right here, which is actually pretty soft. The swoosh goes back to that snake skin feeling material that is on the toe guard. And then on the back heel cup, we do have a glossy black TPU, which does have Kobe's signature only on this right pair, not on the left. So that is really cool as well. Um, insole is pretty much just a black insole. On the heel, we do have 24, which is Kobe's number. And on the tongue, we do have the Kobe Mambo logo. These are called the Gift of Mamba, so they are here to celebrate the life that Kobe lived uh, up until the point of his untimely passing. And that is what these are designed to do. On the bottom, we got the regular basketball traction pattern that we are used to seeing on Kobe's. And also the color of the shoe does have that um, snake skin going on as well. So those are the main details of the shoe. This is a very black shoe. Like the laces are black, the whole shoe is black, and even though the texture is slightly different, it's a very dark shoe. Like I didn't see the camera how dark it is. Um, on these sides, apparently these panels do say 24 on them, like the whole, the perforations, but I don't really see it personally, but I have heard that a couple of times. and. These perforations overall are interesting because they're pretty spaced out. Um, I've never seen a Kobe 4 in hand because remember the Kobe 6 Pro Tro is the very popular one and these are definitely different than those. So they're a little bit different than what we're used to seeing with Kobe's. Another thing that I liked a lot is that this top eyelet for the laces is actually done in like a slightly metallic finish i think that's really cool as well um overall there isn't an insane amount to say about this shoe because it's just an all black kobe let's jump to the other one but it's going to be pretty similar just an all over black going on all across the shoe got the kobe logo right there you got the swoosh on the medial side and yeah 24 on the back um not going to make this drag on too long. 
Material quality wise, the top right here is suede and that's a very nice suede. These snakes can feel soft. They have a pretty soft feeling shoe overall. I think they're softer than the Grinches and the reverse Grinches because they don't have that all over snake skin upper, that hard uh, plastic. These are more of a suede, which is probably going to be a bit more comfortable on feet. Sizing wise, I would go up at least to half size. Kobe's fit insanely tight, but I go pretty much a half size up in all my shoes at this point, to be honest. So I don't really know. Uh, if you guys like a tight fit, do what you will, but I personally don't. Um, and yeah, I'm probably going to end it off here. I can't really give you guys a good performance review of these because I don't play ball. But I would imagine that they're just as good as any of the other Kobe's would be. And they're going to make you look like a beast on court for sure. So, with all that out of the way, I'm going to end this video off right here. Thanks for watching. More to come very soon. And I'll see you all later. Peace.